are you doing? Check out what we have here today. It's a really fun picture of a party. And that's because we're celebrating it's summer and we're on holidays. So we have to celebrate with this amazing picture. And check out all of the stuff I've brought. Well, let's begin with these amazing balloons. See? We're going to use the colour red for this one. Do you like this colour? This is one of my favourite colours ever. And the result is much better when we use markers. Ooh, look at that! Here is the first balloon. I like how it's turned out. Now it's time to colour in the second one. And I think yellow is a great choice. And what does yellow remind you of? Hmm. Could it be the sun? <laughs> yes, and of summer. I mean, this balloon could be an amazing smiley sun. Cool, I love it. We have two balloons finished. A red one and a yellow one. So now it's time to colour in the third one. And we're going to use the colour green. You know, the colour of hope. It's such a beautiful colour, isn't it? It's the colour of nature and life. Yay! Our balloons have turned out great. I love them. Now comes one of my favourite parts. Even though it's not our birthday, we're still celebrating. So we're going to eat a really yummy cake. But we still have to decorate it, right? So we're using the colour pink first. Ooh. See? This icing looks amazing. Oh, don't you feel like eating a cake? I sure do. Mm, it must be so yummy. Um, and what flavour could it be? Maybe you could pick several ones. Oh, I know. Why don't you leave your ideas in the comments? Yay! Now we're adding some decorations on top of each layer. Ooh, and these little dots are purple. Oh, what flavour do you think they are? Yay! Now we're using the colour yellow. We've already learned it because we used it for the second balloon. And this colour could be many different flavours like banana or lemon or I don't know, what else? Oh look, now we're using the colour pink again. Because I love this colour. Now we're using it to colour the top part of the layers. Yay! Now it's time to decorate the candles. Because they can't just be plain and white, right? That'd be a bit dull. Ooh, and we can't forget about the flames. Yay! Yay! Now we have to colour in the platter. And we're going to use the colour blue. <laughs> blue just like the sky. <laughs> oh, and like the sea, of course. A little bit more. Fantastic! And now we're going to colour in this one right here. Do any of you know what this is? We're using the colour orange. But do you know what it sounds like? Yay! That was a party blowout! I just love them! 
Well, now we're going to colour in this cool party hat. We're using the colour blue. And I think I might use another colour. Now we're using the colour yellow. Because I think it goes great with the colour blue. Here we go. <laughs> Check it out, guys. Now we're colouring in the face. We can't forget about all of the details, okay? Here we go. These lines. Great. And now the cheeks. And this detail on the bottom. Just like that. Oh, and we can't forget about the pom-pom. <laughs> Yay! Now comes my favourite part. Colouring in the confetti. Confetti is essential to any party. And we're going to use many different colours. So that it's just like a rainbow. Wow! There are so many colours in the rainbow. We've used the colours red, orange, purple and now we're using the colour green. And lastly, why don't we use the colour yellow? Yay! This way our confetti is multicoloured and so much fun. Check it out, our party picture turned out great! I can't wait to attend a real party and dance with my friends and have a good time! Ooh, there's lots of confetti, balloons! I hope you guys like today's picture! See you soon! Bye bye! Hi guys! How are you doing? Check out what we have here today! It's a really fun picture of three animals that live in the savannah. Do you know what animals these are? They are some really fun animals! And we're going to colour them in using all of these markers! We're going to have a great time! And check out what we've got here! It's a Paw Patrol pencil case! <gasps> and there are some really cool markers inside! Yay! Alright, let's get started! Alright, we'll begin by colouring in the giraffe! This giraffe is yellow! And do you know any fun facts about giraffes? I know a few! Would you like me to tell you? Well, giraffes have a really, really long neck. And do you know why? Because they need to feed on leaves on the trees. <laughs> so they need a really long neck, you know, to reach the <laughs> highest branches. Oh, and giraffes also have black spots all over their body. These are very special spots, they're kind of like our fingerprints. No two giraffes have the same spots. That is so much fun! Oh hey, do you want to hear another fun fact? Giraffes only need to drink once every two days. And not even a lot of water, just a bit of water. Alright, now we're going to colour in their second animal. We're going to use the colour brown, but hmm, this monkey is upside down. Let's spin it round. Yay! This is a monkey. And do you know what monkeys do? They make a really fun noise. They go, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Can you guys do that? If you can, please tell us in the comments. Please give it a try at home. Oh, do you know any fun facts about monkeys? Monkeys communicate with each other using sign language. And it's very effective. Besides, 
Monkeys can climb trees. They can live in the savanna or in the jungle. Look, guys! Now we're adding some details in dark brown. Well, now that we're done with the monkey, we finish up coloring the giraffe. We've already colored in two animals, and they've turned out great. We've colored in a monkey and a giraffe. Now we have to color in the third one. Do you know what animal this is? It's really big. Come on, guys. I know you know. I'll give you a clue. This animal is grey. Right, do you know what animal it is now? Yay! Well done! It's an elephant! And elephants make a really cool noise with their trunk. They have a really long trunk. And they use it to do lots of stuff. They can drink, they can grab food. It's so much fun! Oh, and they also use it to make their peculiar noise. We know so many things about elephants. These animals live in the savanna and in the jungle. Besides, since elephants are so big and heavy, they don't lie down to sleep. They just stand. <laughs> and when it's really, really hot, they use their big ears to fan themselves. We're learning so much about elephants today. Yay! Oh, and elephants have tusks. And they are white. That is the reason why we won't be colouring these in. Elephants use their tusks to defend themselves. And ta-da! We've coloured in all three animals. Hmm, but we still have to colour in the background because these animals can live in the savanna or in the jungle. That's why we're going to colour in the background green so that people can spot the nature. Because guys, it is very important that animals live in nature. Ooh, it's turning out great. We're colouring in the grass and the leaves. A little bit more. Nature is very important. It is thanks to it that we can live. And now we're going to use this green crayon to colour in the rest of the picture. And what about you guys? Do you know of any other animals that live in the jungle or savanna? If you do, please tell us about them in the comments. I know you guys know lots of animals. I know lots of domestic animals too, you know, pets, like cats and dogs and parrots. But guys, these animals here are not pet animals, so that's why we mustn't keep them at home. Because they're wild animals and also they're really big. Come on guys, we're almost done. This is such a fun picture, isn't it? Wow, look! Our picture is finished! Our three animals have turned out great! A giraffe, an upside down monkey and an elephant! See you soon!